everyone and welcome back for another process video. Today I am using Felicity Jane's Mila or Mila collection. I'm sorry, I don't know how to exactly they say that, but um, what this video is about, I am I have decided to start a new series and I'm not sure if I'll upload a video once a week or once every other week. Um, and these videos are all going to be about scrapbooking prompts to maybe help if you guys are stuck out there and not really sure what you want to do or not feeling creative. Some of you may know that over the summertime I was not feeling creative at all and I did very very little scrapbooking and I just wasn't in the mood and um, so I took a class by Nicole Jones 911 and it was her scrapathon for September and one of the things she did for that class was gave us a prompt to use every day of for the month of September and so I went from not feeling scrapbooky at all to like now I have so many things that I want to do that I don't know where to start <laughs> So um, I'm trying to finish up my uh, so much pun collection. So I'm doing these all at the same time. They won't. They. I've been mostly uploading just the so much pun, but this layout and a couple of the other layouts I did at the beginning of September. And um, so I thought it was so much fun to use these prompts, and it really got me thinking out of the box and trying to do different things that I wanted to do this on my channel, and hopefully help anybody else out there who's kind of feeling in a slump. So the challenge for or the prompt for this layout is going to be to use a doily or a cut file. And I say both on this one because not everybody has cutting machines and not everybody has doilies. So the prompt from the class was to use a doily and um, I again didn't have any doilies but I've been wanting to use this cut file and this cut file is by um, Paige Evans I think that's her, how you say her name um, and I purchased it and I used it on my Cricut the new um, design space or whatever I don't know it's one of the newer machines it's not the brand new machine but I've had a silhouette for a very long time and I've always struggled with using it but I got this Cricut and it's so much easier so I was very excited to get to start using these cut files and there's the cut file right there the little flowery and I use these in place of the doilies because they were kind of like the doilies so my prompt for anybody out there is to use a doily or a cut file that's similar to a doily and um, um, hopefully you can find one or the other or use it in any way that works for you. So again, I really love this cut file. So I'm just cutting down my papers. Um, mainly it's going to be to the left of the page. I did mount the photo with one of the darker, um, it's kind of a bluish greenish. I don't really know the color, the name you would name it. Um, but I'm just gluing everything down. This, is, These are pictures. We had family pictures taken kind of towards the end of last year, September sometime. And um, for the most part, I love the pictures. They are beautiful. But I think that if I had the chance to do it again, I would because um, my son is squinting in a lot of them. And my other son was kind of feeling an awkward, like it was different since we've I don't know why but we've never really had a full family professional photo taken before and um, I've had them of the kids just not of all of us so um, I don't really blame the photographer I think she did a wonderful job I'd probably even use her again because she's just nice and lovely but um, I yeah so but I'm still going to scrapbook the photos because for the most part they're really they're really nice so there were some little pops of gold in this collection and I decided I wanted to try to take my um, cut files there and mist them. So when I cut out those cut files, I cut three different sizes. I didn't plan the sizes at all. I just chose a big, a medium, and a little one. So I'm taking my Heidi Swap gold um, mist and I'm trying it on the smallest cut file here because I wanted to make sure that I liked the way it looked before doing it um, 
on the actual doily or cut file that I'm going to be using on the layout. So um, just wiping up my mess and I really like the way this turned out. So this is the one that I'm going to use on the layout. So I'm going to spray it now and I'm actually going to end up spraying it too much but it turns out because I'm going to blot it with the paper towel which actually makes it really flat. <laughs> you can see there it's like really flat. So I, yeah, I love the way that looks. So I'm going to set that aside to dry and then I'm going to go back and work on my layout. And um, I don't use mists very often unless I'm just doing splatters. So this was kind of fun to do. And um, I didn't realize that they took longer to dry. Um, I've used modeling paste before, but that stuff seems to dry a lot faster than spraying mist does, but that's okay. So I am going to take my layout here and I'm going to try to play around with the clusters. Um, I don't go too far before I just put the layout away and I end up not making it back to the layout for a couple days. But there were these little gold heart paper clips and I'm putting one up in this top left corner. I knew that I wanted the doily to go um, in the bottom left corner and I knew I was thinking at the time anyway that I wanted that main huge flower cluster. They're, I'm going to call them chipboard, but they're kind of, I think it's chipboard. I don't really know the technicalities for something to be chipboard. It's really, they were really thick. I really like the embellishments of those, um, but I don't know if it's actual chipboard, but they were nice and thick. So um, I'm going through the three by four cards and I'm just taking a look to see if there's any that I want to use. And I saw that picture perfect one and I really liked that saying since it was family photos. So I'm going to trim down the word picture perfect off of this three by four card and just use that part. And I'm going to ink the edges of it also. And I wasn't sure, I kind of wanted to do family photos or photo shoot or something like that, but I wanted to use these, um, I don't, letter stickers, they came in the kit. So I wasn't really sure uh, what I wanted it to say because I knew they were a larger font, so I had to be aware of the size of them. So I also knew that I wanted to use the flower clusters. I knew I wanted to put one over the doily and I like this little one here. The only thing, I wish there was one more cluster with the pink flower, but I end up fixing that in the end, so you will see. So I decided to go with just the word family for now and see how that fit. And I'm using my thicker thickers alignment tool. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I'm glad that I did. These, you know, sometimes when I put my alphabet stickers down, I just put the bottom part down. And then um, when I like where, it, it, where it's at, I will just push the rest of the letter down. But man, once these letters are down, they are not moving. <laughs> So I just looked around where I might want it to go, but I really wanted it to go at the top there. So again, I wanted to say family photos or something else like that, but it just wasn't going to work. So I decided to just go ahead and stick it down. So I, I'm going to attempt to take the letters off of the thicker tool and um, I'm going to not even try that. You will see here in a minute. Those are some sticky, sticky letters. I'm not worried about those letters coming off at all. <laughs> So I am struggling a little bit though because I do not want to go too far without doing, you can see, watch here, watch me put these letters down. They don't even want to come off the ruler. I'm like pulling it really slowly so I don't, because they're almost kind of like a leather type texture and I didn't want to stretch them out either. So, but I love the way they look. They're really pretty. So, um, what I was saying though is I'm struggling just a tiny bit because I don't want to go too far with the cluster on the left until my doily is dry, but I don't want to put too many other things down without knowing where it's going to go. I did however know that I wanted this rose, I guess it's a rose, this flower chipboard piece to go in by the cluster that says family. Um, and you can see I have a white flower on the right hand side. I wanted another cluster to go there or at least at this point I knew I wanted a third cluster. I just, I'm assuming it was there, which is where it ends up going, but I do play around with moving it around. So I'm trying to play around again a little bit more. Not much I can do without the, um, the cut file piece. So I'm gonna bring it over and I'm going to try to use it even though it's still wet. And I'm, But I still wanted to at least maybe put it there so I would know what else I wanna put there. But I start to go work with it and um, 
uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put it here to the side in just a moment because I didn't want it to get everything. You can see my fingers were all goldish there and I realized, okay, this is just isn't going to work. So I came back a few days later and I'm going to use a large glue dot and I'm just going to put that in the middle of that cut file and I know some sticking through but I knew it would stick to the back of the paper that it's behind. So I had also cut down a piece of it so that it would fit underneath the photo and I'm going to play around with where to put. I thought about adding another doily but I wanted to add it at an angle. I didn't want it to go, I didn't want two doily pieces down at the bottom because then I felt like it there was none at the top and doily cut file when I I'm gonna probably call it the same both things throughout the video so um, there's that cluster with the flowers that I knew that I wanted to use there and I loved that there and then also there was this extra leaf chipboard piece and I stuck it up by that flower up there in the top um, left and I think that really just added something to that cluster too. It just kind of finished off that flower on the left. So I'm going to, I'm gluing down now my, this large flower um, cluster. Sorry, I'm gonna keep up here. It's Monday morning. I gotta, <laughs> gotta have some more coffee. Okay, and then I am taking this doily piece and I do actually end up using it here as a third cluster. I go back and forth with it quite a bit, but once I put down the other items that I want there, I do end up using it because I feel like it brings the gold over to that side. And the other thing that I struggled with with this layout was I felt there was a lot of the bluish color, the bluish and greenish colors on the left hand side of the layout, but there wasn't anything to put on the right hand side. But you will see in just a few minutes that I am going to take some of the gold, um, like these gold heart glitter hearts and some other gold accents. And when I put those around in each cluster, then it really it ties all three of them together really well. So now I'm just gluing down all the elements that I want to go in this cluster and I am going to pull all of them back up here in just a minute because of that doily. I didn't want you to be able to see the cut off bottom part. Um, I wanted you to think that it was tucked behind everything. So here's where I'm pulling those up and I'm just gonna trim just a small piece off the doily there. And then I'm going to glue everything back down. And I really like how this layout turned out. I, this is a little bit different than most of my layouts. You know, so far I've done a lot of really cutesy doodlebug things. Um, you know, I love doodlebug. Um, but I also really like Felicity Jane's kits. They are just a little bit different. So I really enjoy using the, uh, their kits also. So now I have a gold glitter heart in the bottom two clusters. and. This piece here, it says Picture Perfect Family, or at least that's what it reads. I put this piece down and when I read that, it looked like it said Picture Perfect Family and I tried pulling it back up because I didn't like that. I didn't want people to say, oh look, my family think I was saying, oh look, my family's so perfect. But it, it wasn't coming back up and I thought, you know what, oh well, it's it's not what I know the title to be, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So it does stay there and um, hopefully nobody will think I'm trying to say, oh, look at how perfect my family is because let me tell you, we are by far <laughs> not perfect. So anyway, so I added some, um, a couple gold accents. I think they're little gold hearts up in the top left cluster. And now I'm taking out my gold enamel dots. I keep my yellow and my gold in the same drawer. I don't have a whole lot of gold and I don't have a whole lot of yellow, so it just kind of works. And I don't know who these enamel dots are by, but I'm going to put a couple of them in each cluster. Some clusters I put two and some I put three. Normally I put three or I do the same number in every cluster, but I think on this page I just wanted um, some of them like up in the top left it looked better with just the two and down here in these bottom clusters it looked better with the three. So I do play around with these ones here. You can tell I'm not really sure where I want them to go, but I feel like they really finished off the clusters and I thought about just adding two in that cluster to match the other clusters but nope I'm gonna add three and then I thought about adding three to the top cluster and that wasn't working so um, again just playing around with them and I'm gonna end up going back to the two <laughs> 
So that's okay. Um, here comes some close-up photos. I hope you guys like this video. I hope this prompt helps you get scrapbooking and I hope you like this series. Again, I'm not sure if it'll be every week or every other week, but we will figure that out. So, oh, it looks like I did add three enamel dots into that top cluster after all. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.